so you know looking at a couple of these brands that i've been looking you know uh, working with uh, kfc pizza hut or uh, taco bell i think if i look at the journey uh, kfc has been there from last 17 years 1997 versus a taco bell which is a newer brand versus a pizza hut and it's one of the things that uh, comes to my mind firstly when we talk of franchising is um, it's a great tool for growth and it is a tool to be applied by businesses when they are at the right stage of growth so if I were to look at any business that you set up uh, you would essentially first look at the consumer proposition you look at then how the model is working then you would come to a stage where you're rapidly expanding and then you would kind of make a lot of profits. Now, when you franchise, you franchise when you reach the third stage. Now, if I look at these three brands that I've been associated with, clearly I can see the journey. Uh, there has been a time when a KFC or a Pizza Hut, young brands was opening on their own, and there's been a time when they they reached a stage of explosive growth and we've used this partnerships to expand rapidly and it's been working phenomenally well. There is a third brand which is Taco Bell and it's a great brand, it's an iconic brand and if you see, uh, people have been asking me uh, when do you uh, hire the next, set, you know, the franchisees for Taco Bell in India? So, you know, if we've been there for four years in this country, be careful. We've actually proven the consumer proposition, we got the model right, and we are now ready that we want to expand, and we will, we will look at all options, including franchising, to grow. So first and foremost, therefore, when you're looking at this tool, you know, I, I would say it's, it's a very important thing to look at, is, is, is franchising is a fantastic thing to do. Uh, once you've got the brand, you've got the model running, uh, that's my take on it. Uh, and secondly, uh, what kind of franchising and what kind of partners are you looking at uh, depends on the model you're looking at. So it could be smaller players, or, you know, like the Chick-fil-A's of the world who've got people who are owning the model, who are owning the stores, and they, they, pretty, they run the stores themselves, but you have a constraint, they understand the model, but they can only run three stores, two stores, versus... Yep. Uh, our kind of model where we actually work with large corporate franchisees. Money and franchises. Yeah, yeah. and Great. it all depends on the stage you're at. So, in, in, you know, so as far as backend is concerned, at any point of time, um, scale always helps. So, therefore, uh, it's a major, it's, and it's a significant trade-off when you're actually franchising uh, for, uh, and, and a choice to be made on what is it that you want to invest in as a franchisor versus what is it that the franchisee would be Very investing in. And therefore, for example, on supply chain or products, I think to me it's, it's very evident and clear that it is franchisor or a pool of funds for the franchisees is what will always make sense. But uh, if it is for any other, uh, any other investment to be made, uh, it, could, it could even be local because all said and done, local know-how, uh, you know, uh, local wisdom of understanding how the how the dynamics works, how the uh, smarter supplies works on a smaller scale, uh, it has got a lot of advantages. So at the end of it, you, you know, you, whether it is the franchisee or the franchisor, we are into growth and we are into making money. I think the filter that I would use at all points of time when I'm actually getting into any relationships and I'm just kind of adding to the point that we were discussing is at all points of time, my filter is both of us needs to have the passion for the operations and for the brand. And secondly, both of us have to be in it for the long term. And that is my filter, where whether it is, you know, you're saying in, an opportunity in any territory, anywhere, you know, this could be a very quick opportunity, but I need to be very careful that uh, whatever decision I'm making, it's not for the next two years because, you know, every business over 
if you look at a five-year cycle, goes through an upturn and a downturn, right? And therefore, it's very important that the relationship factors into the passion of the franchisee into for the brand, and both of us share a long-term perspective on the business.